Nice. He got up there. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. Today we're going to be diving into the world of the Flipper Zero and exploring five essential ducky script commands that every beginner should know. So if you're new to Flipper Zero or just getting started with ducky script, Squip. This video is perfect for you. The Flipper Zero has become incredibly popular in the cybersecurity and hardware hacking community, and DuckyScript is its simple yet powerful scripting language for creating bad USB payloads. By the end of this video, you'll understand the fundamental commands that will help you create your own payloads and unlock the full potential of your device. Also, be sure to check out modbroadcast.tv where I have a completely free, that's right, free 99 to you uh, a guide on uh, five easy flipper zero tricks to do for beginners uh, so that's just modernbroadcast.tv Russ can we get that right there thank you buddy let's go ahead let's get started all right so jumping into our first command the first command that we need to learn about is called string the string command is the absolute foundation of ducky script it's used to type out text on the target computer the syntax is incredibly simple. String text underscore two underscore type. For example, if you want to open notepad and to type hello world, your script would look a little something like this. The string command is versatile and can be used for typing anything, commands, passwords, messages, or any text you need to input. It's the most commonly used command in DuckyScript and will form the backbone of most of your payloads. Delay. The delay command is crucial for creating reliable payloads. It adds a pause between commands, giving the target computer time to process actions before the next command runs. So delay time in milliseconds, for example, delay 1000. This would pause the script for one second, AKA 1000 milliseconds. You might use it something like this. GUIR delay 500 string notepad enter delay 1000 string this text appears after a one second delay without proper delays your script might run too fast for the target computer to keep up causing commands to fail different computers have different processing speeds so you might want to adjust your delays based on the target system Command number three, GUI. The GUI command is used to press Windows key or combinations or command key on Mac. It's essential for accessing system functions and shortcuts. The GUI R opens the run dialog where GUI E opens the file explorer. GUI L locks the screen and GUI D shows and hides the desktop. Now an example we could show is how to open the command prompt as administrator. GYX, delay 500, string A, enter, delay 2000, string CMD, enter. The GUI command is powerful because it gives you access to system functions that would otherwise require multiple mouse clicks or complex navigation. The fourth commandment is rem. The rem command is used for adding comments to your ducky script. Comments are ignored during execution, but are incredibly helpful for documenting your code. For example, 
Rem, this payload opens notepad and types a message. GUIR, delay 500. String, notepad. Enter, delay 1000. String, hello from my flipper zero. Comments make your code more readable, especially when sharing payloads with others or when you come back to a script after some time. Good commenting practice is essential as your scripts become more complex. Last but not least, we have default delay. The default delay command sets a default delay between all commands in your script. This is incredibly useful when you need a consistent timing throughout your payload. Default delay time in milliseconds. For example, default delay 500, GUIR, string, notepad, enter, string. This script has a 500 millisecond or half a second delay between each command. This is more efficient than adding individual delay commands between every line. You can still override the default delay by adding a specific delay command where needed. Bonus tips and best practices. So before we wrap things up here, here are some quick tips for working with Ducky Script. Test your scripts in a virtual environment first to avoid unintended consequences. Definitely not talking from personal experiences. Start with simple payloads and gradually increase complexity. Use the rem command to, de to default to document your code. Remember that different operating systems may require different delays and save your payloads with descriptive names so you can easily find them later. And there you have it, five essential Ducky Script commands that every Flipper Zero beginner should know. String, delay, GUI, rem, and default delay. Now remember to check out modbroadcast.tv where I have a free written guide on Flipper Zero. I also have some curated payloads. Uh, for you to download as well. Just check out modbroadcast.tv to get those completely free. And mastering these commands will give you a solid foundation for creating more complex payloads and exploring the full capabilities of your Flipper Zero device. The beauty of Ducky Script is its simplicity, so don't be afraid to experiment and create your own custom payloads. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Flipper Zero tutorials. And let us know in the comments what kind of payloads you're creating or what commands you would like us to cover next. Within reason, guys. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're curious what's been going on over here, be sure to check out this video. I lied, it's over here. Check out this video, look at that. Fancy. Have a great week, everyone. Take care. By X delay 500 string. Oh my goodness. 500 string a enter delay. <laughs> it sounds so weird when you just talk about it, but. Those may require different delays. But what? So you can easily find them later. I, that, that, it just stopped.